Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toast and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we're gonna talk about the news that got released in the game and also the news that they talked about in their uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exodus channel and uh, we got some sad news at the end of that video. The man Dassel is leaving uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exodus so uh, Dassel, if you're watching this, probably not but if you are watching this, I do hope that uh, I do wish the best of luck for you in uh, the future of your projects and everything. And thank you so much for everything that you have done for the game. On that note, let's move on to the news that uh, we have this week. So, uh, I'm going to try to cover everything fast, fast. Just running through it. Uh, we're going to have the story event, part 2, uh, Lion of the Mysterious Wood. So this one you get the, uh, the added stages where you can farm exactly the Chris that you want. So if you want to farm Power Chris, you'll be able to farm Power Chris, uh, Support Chris, Healing Chris, and all that good stuff. And also get some free Lapis, which is always good. Uh, by the way, I still didn't fix the thing where my game is zoomed in. So uh, that's going to stay like that. Then, uh, coming with the new unit. So on this Friday, we're going to have a new units, two new units, actually, that we're going to be uh, talking about real shortly. Uh, we're gonna get a free 10 plus 1, which is really really cool. So almost uh, the same way basically they did for Malfacy and Cersei uh, We will get a free 10 plus 1 where you're not guaranteed a rainbow But you guys can pull one of these two units right here or any other rainbow in the game. So uh, That's really cool. I wish they would do this a little bit more often with certain banners and everything because uh, giving back to the community, the community will give back to you. So that's all I have to say about that. So, with that free 10 plus 1, we're going to have to talk about the new units. But first, we're going to go on the battle event. Revelations of Darkness uh, on Thursday, uh, basically on Friday, sorry. This is going to be uh, live. You guys will be able to get a 5 star select 7 ticket, which is amazing. So beginner level, you get a lot of recipes. Uh, beginner level, no items. You get the five star select summon, so that should be a little bit easy to do. So, guys, don't forget to do this. No items. Uh, intermediate uh, level, you get uh, more recipes, more recipes, more recipes, more recipes, more recipes, and more recipes, and you're just gonna get more recipes. So, basically, you're gonna be able to farm in every single level the stuff that you need to, let's say, make the eternal flame recipe, metal earring recipe, thorn dress recipe, and we're gonna go over the stuff right now. So, don't forget. A buy about that five star select summon ticket. Really, really important thing. Important. I was gonna say importation because I saw incarnation. So really, really important. Don't forget about that five star select summon ticket. Then uh, I think it's Inosh Inoshoka or whatever her name is. She's making a comeback because after beating her, uh, she has to come back and uh, basically we have to beat her again. So, Light Element is effective against her Kupo, bring Magic Attacker if possible Kupo, and you might have a tough time if you don't build up your resistance against Stone Ailment. Kupo, so, Rare Monster, uh, basically you're going to be able to farm, uh, fight these bo uh, these monsters as you're doing the, uh, let's say, Legendary level and everything, and what it's going to do, it's basically going to drop more items for you to uh, create that recipe and create that um, that piece of clothing or the shield that you will need to make then uh, i guess we're going to be able to get some cactuars and some snappers which is always always good then this is the stuff that you're going to be able to make with the recipe torn dress attack 12 defense 30 nullify stone always good just because there's status ailment on it so basically because the boss is going to do status ailment and uh, we have to be resistance against stone this is going to give us stone resist which is really really nice also metal earrings uh, an accessory attack 18 defense 3 sharp metal boost attack when equipped with a katana uh, i don't know how much it is but it's only for ls paris so basically we're going to talk about her because she's going to be a really really good unit also you guys will be able to make eternal flame defense and spirit 3 defense 15 percent Enables Flame of Vitality, boost HP by 15%, and that's for Barrel only, so that's the second 5-star on the banner, and that's an accessory. Then the Shield, Rune Shield, Defense 25, Spirit 15, boost Dark Resistance by 15%, which is always good, because whenever you want to build that resistance against a certain element, it's good stuff. Then Katana Proficiency, Proficiency, sorry, not Proficiency, uh, boost Attack when equipped with a Katana, we don't know how much. Uh, probably a 30%, I would say. Spiritual proficiency, boost spirit when equipped with a robe. 
Demonic Might boost attack by 15% and physical damage against demons by 5%. I, I I seriously don't know if that's a typo or it's really five percent. But if it's five percent, uh, yeah, if it's five percent, it's not that great to be honest. Five percent is basically nothing. So yeah, so these are gonna be the units that we're gonna be able to summon for this Friday. So let's talk about them real quick. Uh, we're gonna go right here, featured summon. So we're gonna have Barrel. And uh, Alice Paris, which I gotta say, they look really, really cool. Barrel looks special. I don't know if he's like a dolphin uh, wearing a mage's hat or something like that. But Alice Paris, man, I gotta say, she looks really, really... Uh, she's ready to kill some people. She's ready to kill some people. And the way it's gonna work, uh, Barrel's gonna be a magic cover tank. And also, he's gonna be able to dish out a lot of damage with his spirit. So he's gonna be back and forth between magic cover tank, dealing damage with spirit... Magic cover thing, dealing damage with spirit. And Alice Paris, uh, she's going to be able to chain with Divine Ruination and also Octo Slash Family. Uh, she's going to be a Katana user, double hand user, and she's going to specialize at killing humans and demons. So that's going to be where she's going to be shining, uh, where she's going to be a lot able to do a lot of damage against human and uh, demons. So we're going to get them in the step up banner, and also we're going to get that free 10 plus 1 where you're able to get uh, maybe one of the two. Or the two of them, and if you're not lucky, you're gonna get zero of everything. So the way it's gonna work: 25k lapis, a 5%, a 10% Moogle on your first summon, four-star guaranteed uh, ticket on the second summon, rainbow guaranteed on the third summon. That ugly, ugly ticket. It's not even 30%. This one is a 10% chance for a five-star. They could have given us 30% at least, but the 90% chance of getting a blue. Uh, Crystal, and then on the last step, you're guaranteed either one of the two units, or maybe you'll be lucky and get two of uh, two of each unit, and you get four rainbows in one step up. That would be amazing. So, uh, Mr. Barrel, really high on spirit, is uh, Trust Master, Lights Vengeance, boost HP by 20%, magic and spirit by 30%, which is really nice. Is Super Trust Master, it's a short sword or a dagger, Fallen Angel, Attack 10, Magic 142, which is really high. Spirit 142, which is also really, really high. Boost Light and Dark Resistance by 40%. Enables Sins of the Father. And uh, basically what it does, boost equipment magic when a single weapon is equipped in both ends. Pretty nice, Mr. Barrel. We're going to go down to Alice Paris, which I think is going to be really, really cool. And she looks beautiful, I gotta say. So, Alice Paris, high on attack. Or uh, Trust Master first, it's a Katana. Onimaru, attack 140, uh, spirit 30, uh, not bad actually, because if you are fighting a boss and uh, you just want to, you don't want a magic cover tank in your team, so having that 30 spirit can basically boost uh, the survival survivability of your physical attackers, which is also really nice, uh, 140 is not that bad, but you know what, it's actually pretty pretty good considering that uh, mass immune is 150, so this one is not too far away. And uh, yeah, gotta say, that's a pretty nice Trust Master. Then, our Super Trust Master, Vampirism. Vampirism? Rism? Whatever. Vampire thing. Boost attack when equipped with close. Attack when equipped with Katana. And physical damage against humans and demons. So hopefully this is gonna be 70. If this is 75%, oof, she's gonna be able to do a lot of damage right here. And basically, her boost and attack with close. And uh, when equipped with a katana, I'm pretty sure it's going to be something like around 30% and 30%. So she gets a 60% boost to her attack. But the physical uh, damage against humans and demons is really, really good. Especially if you get four of her, uh, giving that to any other unit in the, the game can, uh, can be really, really, really nice. I gotta say, this is going to be pretty cool. I can't wait for them to come out on Friday. Uh, maybe uh, I'll drop some tickets for them because they look really, really nice. So... Uh, is that it? No, it's not it. We got some more stuff. New batch of 7-star release. So there you guys can see right here. Special. Let's see who we have here. I really hate the zoom down, uh, zoomed in thing. But uh, we're going to have to do with it for right now. So uh, you guys can do a step up 7 to basically get this character. So on Monday, November 19, all the way up to Thursday, uh, November 22nd. You'll be able to do a step up summon if you are lacking one of these units. So you can go for Elfrida, CG Sakura, Baltier, 
Fravia is getting her seven star for all all of you out there who has like four or five Fravia. She's gonna be really really nice, and uh, you guys will be able to summon for Roy also. Is there the other batch right here? Nope. We're gonna go on the second batch. So right here, this is gonna be the second batch of seven star units uh, where you're gonna be able to summon for them if you're lacking some of them, and they will be live on Thursday the 22nd all the way up to Sunday the 25th. And right here, you guys will be able to summon for CG Laswell, Gladiolus. Uh, Fallen, Noctis, Lauren, and Lunera. And I gotta say, guys, this girl right here, she's the best breaker in the game after her 7 star. So whenever she gets her 7 star, you guys will be... Uh, you guys are gonna be good, man. She's she's the best breaker in the game, and she has a really, really high chains. So uh, for all of you out there, if you, ever, uh, if you have her multiple copy of hers, go for her, because she's gonna be amazing as a 7 star. Fallen, uh... Not that great, just his super TMR is really good. Uh, Noctis, nothing special. Uh, last one is actually pretty good. And Gladiolus, well, he's just he's just Gladiolus, right? He's just Gladiolus and nothing crazy. But they did something really cool. And I want to talk about this before we end this video. Uh, so we got the 7-star Awakenings are finally unlocked. So, full in. Right here, you guys can see a Super Trust Master. So if you guys... I have two more copy of him after making him a seven star rider's armor attack 40 it's a um, short short armor it's not a heavy armor it's a regular armor attack 40 defense 14 spirit 18 and boost wins wind resistance by 80 percent which is really really nice uh cg laswell is trust master uh zante tsukin hopefully i said that right uh katana attack 174 and uh, enables Resolute Vow. What it does, boost LB, gauge, uh, boost LB gauge fill rate and boost parameter when setting an Esper by 10%. So whatever it does, basically uh, the stats of your uh, Esper are boosted by 10%. So the stats of your character are boosted by another 10% from the Esper. Which is really, really good since when you cap out uh, the maximum amount of damage, that's going to be the best way to increase that uh, those stats from your character. So Baltier! Is Super Trust Master, Zodiac Shot, Boost Attack when equipped with a gun, and Physical Damage against Machina Monsters. Nothing crazy here. Elfrida is actually her super nice, or super TMR, and uh, with my 5 Elfridas, I think I'll be able to get it real fast. So basically, Truth Seeker, Boost HP, Defense, and Spirit by 30%. Boost Equipment Attack when a single weapon is equipped in both hands. Uh, this is really, really nice. Roy, you guys will be able to use his ARP. Not that I think every anybody uses ARP, so... Attack 20, Magic 70, Spirit uh, 156, HP 30%, Spirit 30%, MP 20%. But it's still a really, really good ARP to put on, uh, let's say, your uh, your healer or maybe on a buffer. That could be good. We never know. That's really, really high on Spirit. And uh, that uh, HP and Spirit 30% is really, really good. Then, my girl, CG Sakura, finally getting, getting her 7 star. Uh, you guys will be able to get Sakura's robe. Defense 14, Magic 77, uh, Spirit 42, boosts Lightning Resistance by 50%, enables Auto Limit, uh, and LB Gauge Fill Rate every turn. So this is really, really nice, basically to get her LB up faster. And Lunara, her Super Trust Master, nothing crazy there. Uh, to be honest, I find it really underwhelming. But, you know what, uh, it could be really, really good if you're fighting... Uh, demons where you're gonna boost your dark resistance by 30% it's a piece of material and boost physical and magic damage against demons if I'm not mistaken this is 75% but still nonetheless I would have liked something a little bit better for Lunara but you know what we're gonna take it if it's 75% this is gonna be the thing to use and we got the girl Fravia or access it's gonna be an accessory or super trust master attack 25 magic 25 enables fencers poise uh, basically boost equipment attack and equipment magic when a single weapon is equipped in both hands. You guys can still use her as a true double end or a dual wielder. So that's putting it out there. You guys can use her like that. Then we get Noctis, which gets a global upgrade. And I gotta say, a super TMR is really, really nice. Boost HP, uh, and it's a materia. Boost HP, MP, attack, defense, and magic, and spirit by 20%. So basically all your stats are boosted by 20%. And fire, ice, lightning, water, wind, and earth resistance by 20% and fills LB gauge every single turn. So this thing right here is amazing. So if you guys have four of them, go for that. 
because that material is amazing to put on any single unit. Then Gladiolus, Shields of the Chosen King. It's a material boost HP by 50% and defense by 30% and boost defense and HP when uh, boost defense when HP falls below a certain point, which is really really nice. And we got the girl Lauren. Still waiting for mine, doesn't matter. And her Super Trust Master, it's a large sword. Attack 170, defense 20, and spirit 20. Which is really, really good. So guys, this is going to be the best breaker in the game when her 7 star is released. Uh, so this is going to be really, really cool. Man, I can't wait for some of these units. Lunara, you're going to be a 7 star, girl. Lunara, you're going to be a 7 star. So on that note, we got one more thing that they didn't uh, put in the game yet. I'm checking right here on my computer. Uh, Chamber of Arms, we will get a new fight and you guys will be able to fight uh, Nunki, which is going to be a boss that's going to be able to switch his elemental resistance at, as the fight uh, goes on. And uh, apparently it's going to be really hard where uh, if he wants to knock out 50% of your HP, he's going to knock out 50% of your HP. So even if you have all your buffs and everything, He's going to decide how much HP he's going to remove from your party every single time. So if he wants to remove 20% HP, bam, 20% HP is gone on your party. So it's going to be an interesting fight. Uh, we don't know when it's going to come out, but probably going to come out in uh, the month of November, hopefully. Then And uh, the reward, sorry, you guys will be able to get the Flame Whip. Flame Whip, as I'm watching down here, it's uh, Attack 98, Magic 117, and it's a Fire Elemental Whip. And it's going to enable you to... Enable you to use Faraja, which is going to be able to stack every single turn, which is pretty, pretty cool. So, guys, on that note, thank you so much for watching. I know uh, most, a lot of people already pull out those news, but I just wanted to pull out the news with uh, my way of saying things, and uh, basically, hopefully, you guys will enjoy it. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like down below. If you are new to this channel, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. By the way, the beard is going to stay.